we will start in a minute many people there are they did not come today so can you hear me yes yes i can hear you oh. 5 10 15 16 okay last class last class what are we discussing about types of classes inheritance okay so yesterday whatever that we had discussed all the three topics three or four topics are interrelated okay so nothing is independent like we discussed about types of classes like what is the purpose of abstract class in a business and what is the purpose of concrete class in business these are the two things which we have discussed and after discussing about this we looked at organization structure and based on the fact that we have discussed here and we we were tried to identify the structure of the classes like whether the uh, i mean like the structure of organization organization level division level and unit level so those are going to come under abstract or concrete that is what we have compared and came to a conclusion based on the knowledge and the same organization structure we have classes right we have classes that has got created in our application so in our application also we have three levels organization class division or application class unit class again similar to comparison with organization we have looked at these classes and we have realized that these classes that has got created are abstract classes at the top two levels and bottom level is concrete class that is what we have made observation all this is very very important when we go with application development and creating some functionalities going forward all this is very very important this came in there hello in class lo unnanu cheppandi den gunchi fifth floor andi akkada kaadu google plan sir kphb road number 1 okay okay so types of classes organization structure and the three classes that are there in implementation class we have seen if we go to framework application instead of three we see four classes there is one additional class what was that fw that stands for framework that is called as framework division that is called as that is one additional class it can be three or four or five or ten it can be anything but the ideal structure here in implementation is three in framework is four just to make sense to understand that it is framework related there is one additional class called fw okay this is another point what else we had discussed inheritance in general we discussed about inheritance what is the purpose of inheritance relation between in order to access the data of one class to another class there must be inheritance inheritance relation relation so let me tell you one point here suppose if you create an application on top of another application application a application b application b is created on top of application a as you create application on top of another application the functionalities will not be available directly for accessing so where does the functionality is available inside application inside classes if you get into application there will be classes and if you get inside a classes you will find some functionalities correct okay look at the diagram just we are going to uh, proceed forward from where we have stopped yesterday i'm sorry what was that okay so application and classes inheritance right okay look at here look at this diagram just let it get loaded okay 
so look at this diagram okay i'll just read out the bottom one what we have in the application structure for us is pega platform the very bottom one is pega platform on top of pega platform we have framework, framework application on top of this framework application we have implementation, implementation application correct this is the structure that that we have got and as you create application on top of another application it doesn't mean you can access all functionalities apart from application we have classes you have class a class b class c d class e like this multiple classes will be there inside each application all the business functionalities that you create it may be related to ui or business logic or database it can be anything the business functionalities that you create you would be creating inside classes you would be creating inside classes okay you created for functionalities inside classes how do you access the functionalities at runtime or at design time you may have to access the functionalities that are there in framework application into implementation application that are there in pega platform into framework application or implemented that is the need actually the need is pega provided functionalities which are there in pega provided classes those are ootp classes we call the ootp functionalities which are available in ootp classes of pega platform we wanted to access into the classes of our applications how can we access the functionalities from one class to another class by using inheritance which means that there must be an inheritance relation defined between the classes if you want to access the functionalities of one class into another class irrespective of whether those classes of same application or other application here there is no point of discussing about application actually if you want to access the functionalities of one class into another class both classes may belong to same application or one class is in application one another class is in application two no matter no question about where the classes are but if you want to access the functionalities of class 1 into class 2 there must be inheritance relation without an inheritance relation defined between the classes we can never access functionalities of one class into another class everyone clear with this point online resources respond on the chatting window yes 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 sir okay thank you and this is the one key point that we need to understand now we created framework application we created implementation application how do you access the functionalities of implementation application classes into implementation application class that is one question what is the first question i want to see in implementation application is it only one class we have or multiple classes there are so many created but we are focusing on three levels organization class division class unit class it means organization to division division into unit this accessibility should be there right what is the reason we need so many classes in an application in, a, in an application why not we can do it in single class we discussed about this yesterday what is the reason you have so many classes that you are creating just to make it easy and simple the maintainability will be good if you are going to have in multiple yeah, classes maintain is okay maintain and manage if any questions arises like this in your mind you first have to switch to thinking about the real world business whatever that you are going to set up in the real world the same way you need to design your application each class you need to understand it like one department in the business one specific department in the business so like that if you think about it is it only one department that will do everything in any business there will be multiple departments like you set up because it is very easy to manage your business it is easy to extend your business okay all this the same way exactly a copy paste we have to do in the application you create so many classes that will give so many advantages okay we'll see that going forward again and here you go you wanted to access the functionalities that are there in organization into division and which are there in division into unit so how do i access the functionalities of one class to another class by means of inheritance right so that means there must be an inheritance relation defined between the classes that are there in your implementation application 
that is the first question second question is how do you access the functionalities of framework application classes into implementation application classes we'll come to second question later first coming to prpc inheritance concept inheritance in general is same everywhere that is universal concept inheritance is accessing the functionalities of one class to another class now coming to pega there are two types of inheritance there are how many types two types of inheritance first one is first one is pattern inheritance what is the first one pattern inheritance second one is direct inheritance second one is direct inheritance so pattern inheritance meaning that you define inheritance relation between the classes by class naming pattern by class naming pattern where where you have classes appended with hyphen okay i'll tell you example example is a dash b dash c what is the example a dash b dash c. how many classes are there here three classes you tell me the names of the classes first class is a second one you should not read it as b you should read it as a dash b you should be reading this as a dash b at the time i am trying to create b for example if i am manually creating i don't create b standalone a standalone i'll create because that is the topmost class there is nothing before it and while creating b i wanted to inherit from a i wanted to inherit from a to define that inheritance relation you need a dash what is that you call it as hyphen hyphen you read here as dash a dash b you call it as a dash b at the time of creating b you take a and append b you don't create standalone which means that you are defining inheritance relation between a and b where a is parent and b is child understand this is a class naming pattern what is the naming pattern here pattern of symbol hyphen okay next one is you need to of course it is a c class but you will be reading this as a dash b dash c you will not be reading this so simply like c okay i will show you the same just for your information you look at here this is organization class right bajaj a dash b dash c this is a okay organization class it is standalone this is the id is the actual name correct and you go to division level like application class bajaj auto definition and here you see this is you are seeing here display standalone but what is the actual name we already discussed id is the actual name at the time of bajaj auto that has been created automatically by pega we did not manually create it it has created bajaj auto appending to bajaj appending to bajaj and now you go to work class this is the work class you go to definition of work class what do you see there bajaj bajaj auto work this is how pega has created so this is how you need to read a a dash b a dash b dash c what is the parent of class c a dash b a both are parents a dash b means a is parent b is parent what is the parent of b a is parent of b what is parent of a in the pattern inheritance you don't know there is nothing actually okay there is nothing that you see here on the screen so so pattern inheritance can be defined by a class naming pattern where you have one class appended to the previous class where the previous class is going to be parent class and the very last class is going to be the child class here c is child of a b and b is child of a a is child of b okay i'll tell you one concept in the inheritance that is there can be multiple parents in the chain okay a dash b dash c dash d dash like this generally it is not about only pattern normally in the inheritance concept a class which is a pa okay parent of parent is a parent to bottom level a dash b dash c for example a is parent to b b is parent to c which means a is also parent to c means c can access b as well as a in in the human relation how it works like grandfather father and child okay so this child can access son can access the property of father father can access the property of grandfather at the same time 
this grandson can access the property of grandfather. So this is not only limited to two levels. It is a chain, n number of levels. It is possible. Means if you have n number of classes in the inheritance relation, parent of parent of parent of parent of parent 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 parent, parent all these can be accessible will be accessible to the very bottom level. This point also everyone clear. And now pattern inheritance. So pattern inheritance is a class naming pattern where a class is being created appended to the previous class by a hyphen. Two classes are concatenated by hyphen and the very last class is the child and before classes are parents. What is the purpose pattern inheritance? You know how you define it, how the pattern inheritance will be defined in Pega. But what is its purpose using pattern inheritance? We can access. I mean like the application classes can access the functionalities of other classes of same application uh, same application means I logged into implementation application implementation application top level classes if you want to access that can be done with the help of which inheritance pattern inheritance pattern inheritance helps accessing the functionalities of classes of same application. So in a pattern inheritance can I get other application classes that is not possible. So other application classes I can access here just to show you see FW this is related to which application framework application this is related to framework. So if you take this framework application classes. Okay, I'm going to draw a diagram. Please hold on. Exactly what we have. Uh, in our application I'm going to draw this. Okay, there is a common class at the higher level. What is that Bajaj correct Bajaj and here you have FW Bajaj insurance and work and in the implementation level. What do you have Bajaj auto and below you have work below you have work. Okay, let me draw the line. So here you go. What is this inheritance? This line is inheritance here. What type of inheritance it is? This is pattern, pattern inheritance. Okay. So this is the one you have pattern inheritance of classes Bajaj, Bajaj Auto, Work. This is these are different classes and these are different classes. All these classes on the left side that you see these classes are related to which application? These are framework application classes framework application classes all these are and what about these classes? These classes are these three are implementation application class application classes. So framework application classes, implementation application classes. See, implementation application classes are connected by pattern, framework application classes are connected by God. There is a common class as per the design that we have done. That is okay. But remaining classes are any any relation is there between this remaining classes here? Is there any relation like implementation work class from the above diagram? What we can say just look at here. From the above diagram, what we can say? Implementation application classes functionalities can be accessed into implementation work class by means of pattern inheritance by means of pattern inheritance. Okay. Similarly. Second point second point is in place of implementation. Framework application cla classes functionalities can be accessed can be accessed. into framework framework work class by means of pattern. So each of these application classes 
are accessible to the transaction class work class is the one which is transaction class that is where we need to focus okay that is the starting point of your transaction into that class it can access framework application classes in in case of implementation into implementation work class it can access implementation classes functionalities by means of pattern inheritance by the framework work class framework application framework application work class functionalities are not accessible not accessible to implementation application work class from the diagram from the diagram what we can see framework application work class functionalities are not accessible to implementation application work class but we want it we want to achieve this see what is the reason you created implementation application on top of framework application in order to access the functionalities but from the existing design that you had come across here you see that there is no way you can access framework application work class functionalities into implementation application work class this is the existing let me save this okay this diagram i will give you the document <coughs> just hold on i'm creating document so if you are there in the class and this should be clear to you when you go through it later 596 of 25 so pattern inheritance right pattern inheritance between classes of an application that's what we are going to see here you go now okay from the diagram you can understand everything okay now but we want it to achieve okay we want to access the functionalities of fw work class into implementation work class See, these are different application classes right to access the uh, functionalities of different application classes pega provides another type of in inheritance another type of inheritance that is what is that direct inheritance direct inheritance so pattern inheritance using pattern inheritance the purpose of pattern inheritance is to access the functionalities from the classes of same application other application classes won't be coming into the pattern pattern path is only for same application and if you want to access the functionalities of other application you must be going with direct inheritance okay let's look at the direct inheritance parents let's look at direct inheritance parent class of fw work class fw work class and impl work class so direct inheritance document theory document you have all the details look at here see pattern inheritance you know if i just show you the name of the class you will be able to say what are the pattern parents correct and now direct inheritance where would you define the direct inheritance pattern inheritance you are defining by class naming pattern then what about direct inheritance in a direct in direct inheritance you will define in the class rule form direct inheritance where is being defined direct inheritance is defined in the class rule form okay class rule form now go to implementation class implementation work class go to implementation work class you see on this go to implementation work class let's go to akkad switch on yes let's show go to implementation work class on this layer 
So I am going to go through implementation work class definition. That is the screenshot I have given. So here you go now. Scroll down. When you scroll down here, you can see this is the this is the parameter which you need to focus on. Above checkbox, you ignore. You don't need to bother about above checkbox. Look at here. The parent class directed means for this implementation work class, the direct parent is what is the direct parent? Work dash cover dash. What is this work dash cover dash? This is an OTB class. What is this class? OTB. We did not choose this. At the time when you create new application, Pega has created implementation work class. And for that, the parent class is work dash cover dash. It has automatically chosen that is direct parent. Okay, look at here now. This class is a class group. Work class, we can also call it as class group because it has multiple classes in its name. Okay, but I'll tell you about class group later, but it can also be referred as class group. Okay, now implementation class group, the parent class is work dash cover dash. Let me draw the same diagram here. Here you go. This is, I'm sorry. This is, what is this one? Work dash cover dash. This is the OTB class, work dash cover dash. If you look at the name of the work dash cover dash, can you tell me how many classes are there? Two classes. What are those? Actually, there is a dash in the class name. Work dash is one class. Work dash cover dash is another class. I'll tell you the reason why it is. Just give me a minute. You can access OTP classes also here. Work dash. You see, this is OTP class. After this, you have cover dash. What is the relation between work dash and cover dash? Which which type of inheritance? Pattern inheritance. Okay. Pattern inheritance. Look at here. This is OTP class. These are OTP class. Work dash is one class. Why there is a dash in the class name itself? In the class name itself, you have a dash, right? What is the reason we have a dash in the class name itself? Let me explain. You. There are different versions of class. Just hold on. I'll tell you. Just hold on. There are different versions of Pega. Pega version 4, 4, 4, 4.4. Okay. And 5, 5.1. Okay. After that, 5.5. Version 6.1, 6.2 and then 7 7 after 7.1 7.1.1 1.2 like this so on mega 8 8.1 8.2 and 7 8.5 8 .5, 8 .5, 8 .5, 8 .5, 8 .5, like that you have 8.1.7 the present version that we are working is 8.7 actually it is not even 8.1.7 like that you have 8.7 version up to pega 6 version okay the development of Pega tool and the provision and the functionalities that are available, uh, those are very much limited up to Pega 6 version, means 6.2. <coughs> Starting from Pega 7, they have made so many changes to this environment, especially even UI also, user interface also. They have used HTML programming language to design UI up to Pega 6.2. Starting from Pega 7, they have used HTML 5. What is that? HTML5. Today also HTML5, they started using even React also. Okay. But let's keep it aside. Up to Pega 6 version, if you are creating a class in 6.1, 6.2, or 6 or 5.1, when you create a class, at the time of creating class itself, you will provide a hyphen symbol for the class. Given if you want to create it as an abstract class. If you are trying to create an abstract class, the class name itself will have a hyphen. If you are creating concrete class, the class name is not going to have any hyphen. If you create class A, by looking at the class itself, you can say that is that is concrete class. If you create class A dash, then what is that? Abstract class. This naming convention has been deprecated, removed, starting from Pega 7. Starting from Pega 7, the dash is not required to be provided. Okay. You create class A and choose it to be either abstract or concrete in the class rule form. Here you will be choosing it. And up to Pega 6 version, what it what is that? Class name at the time of creating itself, you will be creating class name. 
with a dash either with a dash or without dash if the class name is just a that is concrete class okay. if class name is a dash then that is abstract. that's why all predefined classes you will see dash at the end of the class name many predefined if you look at any predefined class with a dash at the end of the class name you can simply say that is abstract class but there is an exceptional situation there is a class called at the rate base class what is the class name at this is also overtb class this is topmost class in pega <coughs> what is meant by topmost class this is the parent class of all the classes under this class only you have work dash data dash ind dash index dash embed dash cmis dash assign dash code dash rule dash all those classes as a next level will come under base class you can see here assign dash code dash data dash cmis dash history dash index dash embed dash all these will come under int dash link dash is also there log dash is also there rule dash okay these are all the classes which comes under base class so base class is a topmost class in pr base every class will be child class of base class like object is the class which is topmost class in java right similarly system is the class which is topmost class in dotnet c sharp and all the same way the topmost class for a technology will be there for pega prpc topmost class is what base, base class, class. Right? Base, base class and this has an exceptional thing that this class doesn't have any hyphen but still this is the abstract class base class is also abstract class even though hyphen is not there i don't know the reasons why they did not put a hyphen at the end and now coming to this one now if you go to our implementation work class let's come back to our implementation work class if you go to the definition of implementation work class you would see the parent class is work dash power dash that is ootp class okay is it possible to give more than one class here let me try that once i'll try to select more than one class okay i have selected two classes one is work dash cover dash another one is some other class try to save this oh no 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 hold on i think that got removed work dash cover dash this was there work dash cover dash comma next again i want to choose one more class two classes i am trying to choose let me try to save this is it getting saved no so in a pattern you can have more than one parent that is okay but in a direct inheritance you could specify to choose only one parent class in a direct inheritance how many possible only one pair, one class any class you will be choosing there but look at here one more thing i will remove what is being provided and i will try to choose something else okay and i'll try to save is it accepting what does it says class group class group means work class for now work class this one must be inheriting from ootb class work dash or its subclasses it is a mandatory statement that you need to follow okay otherwise prpc not agreeing i'll tell you the reasons later your implementation work class where you initialize transaction or framework work class any work class it must be inheriting from what is the ootb class work dash is acceptable or not see work dash is acceptable if work dash is parent work dash cover dash can be chosen or not we can even choose by default pega is giving work dash cover dash and a work class must be inheriting from the ootb class work dash or any of its subclasses that means this place work dash should be there our child class of work dash is also okay so what is already present in the system is work dash cover dash we are not changing anything just to show you that we cannot choose anything else just to show you that we cannot have more than one parent class i have done all this whatever that i had done just now okay and the same i am going to draw here see work dash cover dash under this you have another class this is a parent class for your implementation class group this is implementation class group or you say implementation work class implementation sorry implementation class group or you may say it as work class anything is okay so what is the inheritance relation here which type of inheritance this is 
this is direct inheritance this is not patent this is direct this is what already present in the system now let us access framework work class go to framework work class framework work class also you can access from here itself to see here you go this is framework work class okay i am taking it and right click on this go to the definition and scroll down see here what is the parent class of framework work class oh, we did not choose it vega has automatically taken at the time when you create new application the same i am going to draw here see here now so framework work class is deriving from ootp class work dash cover dash i'll draw the diagram with arrow marks so that you can easily understand this is the direction means this is inheriting from this class it looks opposite but it is correct this is inheriting from this class look at here this is what is this one framework framework class group or you say work class anything is okay and from the existing design after you create framework application after you create implementation application framework work class has got created implementation work class has got created we understand pattern inheritance possibility now we are trying to understand direct inheritance possibility from the existing design what is been provided by pega after you create applications we can see that implementation work class can access the functionalities of work dash cover dash otb class work dash framework work class can access the functionalities of work dash cover dash okay. this work dash cover dash belongs to which application this belongs to pega pega platform, platform odb this belongs to our implementation application this belongs to framework framework, framework, framework application so framework application implementation application both can access the functionalities of pega platform classes by means of which inheritance direct inheritance by means of direct inheritance a inheritance sir direct inheritance direct so the purpose of direct inheritance is to access the functionalities of the classes of other application i can access the functionalities from the classes of self application by using pattern inheritance in order to access the functionalities of other application that may be any application here in this case framework pega blast other application classes functionalities can be accessed into prpc i mean like into the current application classes by means of which inheritance direct inheritance that is why two inheritances are needed in pega why we have two inheritances in pega one pattern and one direct why we have two inheritances the reason is to access the functionalities of same application classes pattern inheritance is going to help to access the functionalities of other application classes direct inheritance is going to provide that help understand everyone so what is pattern inheritance class naming pattern of the classes which defines the inheritance what is direct inheritance direct parent class you will mention in the class rule form these two questions are easy to answer but the main questions are what is the purpose of pattern inheritance what is the purpose of direct inheritance in pega what is the purpose of pattern inheritance in pega to access the functionalities of the classes of same, same application same application, application classes what is the purpose of direct inheritance to access the functionalities of other applications some other applications maybe anything here in our case our need is like this our need is we want to access the functionalities of pega platform into implementation application we wanted to access the functionalities of pega platform classes into framework that is fulfilled from existing diagram itself we can say that need is fulfilled but one more thing is pending that is we would like to access the functionalities of framework application work class into implementation application work class with the present design is that being possible yes or no, no. you are seeing no. the current design no. what is been happening right is that possible yes or no no that no. is not being possible you do not see any inheritance relation built between framework work class and implementation no. application no. but we want to teach you this we want to achieve this we wanted to achieve this so in such a way that implementation application after you achieve that implementation application still should be able to access work dash cover dash 
framework application should be able to access work dash cover dash at the same time implementation application should also be able to access framework work framework. Dash. so that is the need so i want to achieve it first to tell me diagrammatically what needs to be changed here later we will implement the same practically in our application diagrammatically i need to make some changes here such that my implementation application should be able to access framework application functionalities framework application should be able to access work dash cover dash plus implementation application should also be able to access work dash cover dash all that should be there present what is there should be there additionally what i am expecting my implementation application should be able to access functionality of framework for that i need to define inheritance relation correct so tell me yeah. diagrammatically what is the change to be made but you need to keep in mind one point the class can have can have two direct parents being mentioned i have practically shown you that that is not possible keep that in mind and tell me the change the need to implement uh, class framework to first and uh, implement it from the work cover from implementation to work cover i am going framework. to draw a line yes. implementation work class is deriving from framework work class framework. online people please respond on the chatting window if possible okay so this i have made this is okay but there is some problem here implementation work class is having two direct parents at the same time you are mentioning two direct which is not possible just i shown you two is not possible only one is possible right this is okay but what else should be done we have to remove, remove the, the connection, connection between between these two i am removing the connection here okay i am going to remove the connection here okay i have removed the connector now from this particular diagram what we can see here my implementation work class can access the functionalities of framework work class possible yes or no my framework work class can access the functionalities of work dash cover dash of pega platform possible yes. now third one implementation application can it access the functionalities of work dash cover dash yes or no yes yes, yes or no yes it yes. is accessing the functionalities of work dash cover dash also but how yes. implementation it is the highest work class is accessing the functionalities of work dash cover dash this way parent Certain of parent is also parent that's what we discussed at some time back correct this is yes. the reason we have discussed that. okay so implementation work class can access framework work class can access work dash cover dash because work dash cover dash is parent of parent parent of parent functionalities also will be accessible to the bottom level the change what we have made here diagrammatically okay please mute from your end otherwise i am going to be hold on yeah see here the parent of parent functionalities can be accessible into bottom level the change what we have made here diagrammatically the same we need to make practically okay in the prp same ground correct so you need to tell me the navigations now you know all the navigations by this time so you just tell me the navigation where to make the change online resources respond on the charting window offline tell me where should i make the change we need to log into which application you have two applications framework is there implement which application i need to log in and need to make changes implementation, implementation application Good. so i logged into implementation application okay and here you go where should i go after i log in let me close everything i logged into implementation application now what is the next navigation where should i proceed right. you need to go to definition definition of implementation work class i went there after that in the implementation work class you have direct parent work dash cover dash right remove it and choose framework work class the same i am going to give you in the document what 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 was that i have given you here direct inheritance defined uh, is defined in the class rule form implementation work class okay so let me write down for implementation work class the direct parent is what is that cover dash cover dash let's look at framework 
work class direct parent so in order to access framework work class i don't need to log into vrpc framework application i can access from implementation itself right click on this i'm sorry right click on this and go to definition go to definition and here you go in the definition scroll down what is that you are seeing for fw work class also the direct parent is what is that work dash cover dash work dash cover dash look at here now look at the diagram this one this is what right okay this is one diagram and what about i the have a question one? here hold on i'll come back to you hello so now we want uh, please the, mute store sorry sorry yeah so now we want the implementation work class Um, uh, implementation work class to derive. Derive means inherit from FW work class. For that make below changes. What are the changes you have to make? This is the way you need to make that line and all. You don't need to bother. I just drawn it to let you know that it can access the functionality. So from the above picture, what I can say, you can see that. implementation work class can access fw work class fw work class can access work dash cover dash at the same time implementation work class can also access the work dash cover dash via fw work class understand everyone clear that is through fw work class everyone clear make sense the same uh, let's make this changes let's make this changes in our application classes for this where should i log into you told few minutes back log into implementation work class i am sorry log into implementation application okay i am going to log into implementation application this is when you log in this is how you will get everything you go to application explorer and all okay and i logged in there and now definition of implementation work class okay i will ask you one question after this and how do i go to the definition of implementation work class right click on this and definition you know that you have to scroll down i don't need to write scroll down and all and here you have work dash cover dash what should i do now remove work dash cover dash and choose fw work class okay i have removed it click the down arrow you don't need to type anything manually and then you type b a bajaj and here you should find the framework work class understand everyone clear you don't type anything manually you would be choosing from the drop down someone was trying to ask a question what was the question this is done female resource let me unmute here yes i have unmuted what was the question female resource someone yes. yeah what here um, uh, direct inheritance also act as like uh, uh, pa pattern inheritance right the only difference is like uh, direct inheritance can access from some other class Th that is the only difference see, direct inheritance what is the purpose of direct inheritance to access the functionality see any inheritance is to access the functionalities of another class right classes of same application you want to access which inheritance Pattern. Classes Pattern. other application you want to access. Built-on application classes you want to access. Then, there it is. 
to access the functionalities of beta on application classes which inheritance is going to help direct to access the functionalities of present application which inheritance pattern. i'll tell you an example so for, for example you can so this is how it works in india okay you just take a male person so a male person can get the property of father grandfather grandfather's grandfather grandfather's grandfather like this it's a chain all this is blood relation all this is devops of a class number two room number two okay so that is called blood relation in a family because there is blood relation you access the property of parent 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 and all okay so in the succession this blood relation you remember it as pattern inherited same family same family blood, blood relation because of that you access the property okay this is called which inheritance pattern inheritance now this male person has got married to a female that female is from another family he can access some property by marriage in india it works okay but i don't know about other countries that is how it works in india correct so by getting married to a female person who is from some other family he got access to some other property of other family this is by a direct relation called marriage okay so this is direct inheritance direct inheritance is to access the property from another application and pattern inheritance is same application same family if you are if you are accessing property that is by a blood relation you all are connected that is pattern direct inheritance means directly getting married to some female resource and getting easy money Oh, okay. Thank you. So, yes, this is the difference between Sir, direct and pattern. I have Make a question here. Now. Sir, I have a question here. Question about marriage or classes? Uh, the the inheritance actually. That is a uh, whatever we discussed so far. No, come See, closer uh, to your mic. Come close. Yeah. Whenever online people, if you are asking question, come closer to the mic sure, and sir. speak a little bit louder than your regular voice. Okay. Okay. See, uh, according to this uh, uh, direct, there is pattern inheritance. This application so far we built uh, is a, uh, is as per the direct inheritance. Meaning the example, whatever you are taken so far, it is already built uh, as per the pattern inheritance. So that we should be able to access that is the implementation class. Implementation uh, class should be able to access the uh, framework uh, uh, class, right? Why there is a need we of a direct only inheritance? about work class? Our focus is only on one class. What was that? Work class. As per okay. the change that I have made just now, now my implementation application can access the functionalities of framework mm -hmm. application, work class to work class only. We are discussing. We never discuss about other classes so far. Go ahead. Okay. But uh, I, I thought since the implementation layer is built on top of the framework layer, what I was even the work, the work class should be able to access the work class of framework class. On top of another application, functionalities will not be accessible. See, accessing the functionalities you are not directly doing from application to application. You are doing it from classes to classes. Even within the same application, if you want to access the functionalities of one class into another class, Inheritance is must. So okay. as you create your implementation application on top of framework, doesn't mean you can access everything. But functionalities are not directly placed inside application. These are placed inside classes. classes. So class to class relation is also must. Okay. 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 Let me okay. ask you, every one of you one question. Okay. After I had okay, you are done everything practical, and today's practical you are going to do. At the time while you are practicing today's session. You went here to the implementation work class and here you click the down arrow and you have typed the similar name what you have for your classes budget something like that in the list you are trying to find out framework work class you're trying to find out framework work class to select from this list it must be there actually it must be there but it is not there when you are trying to practice this you do not see framework work class coming up in this drop down you tell me the reason why what was the reason you're not getting the framework work class shown up in this drop down as this is not shown up you may try to copy paste the name here even if you copy paste it to error message that's what happening okay then what is the reason it is not being shown up in this drop down 
this uh, this the class what you are selecting is not your uh, framework it's not the framework class it is not the framework layer for you okay now my question is the reason where is the problem for this issue what is the problem the problem is that second. the application is not built correctly on top of the, the framework. application is not built on top of framework application framework. yes you forgot to build implementation application on top of framework instead you had built on top of Pega platform itself you forgot that and you came here and you are trying to access the class it is not coming issue is here fix it what is the fix you need to tell me the fix now where do you need to fix in order to get this in this drop down this is the place where you are facing issue for this issue where is the fix we have to, we have to log in of implementation application you need to choose built on application as framework the same question we had discussed the other day correct? three four days before yes we did not attend past classes maybe day two or day two <coughs> if you did not go through that video you will not be able to understand this now but go through the old videos it will get clarified so issue is at this place but fix is somewhere else this is the reason why you need to learn all that relations it is not that we create everything and simply leave it okay so learning pega is not just learning the forward engineering okay simply how to create framework application how to create implementation application after creation is done just mention the parent class of parent here and uh, in the implementation work class this way of learning is okay you will get the output result as your business is expecting but whenever there is an issue how do you fix it for that you need to know about reverse engineering so what is the relation which of it? the issue is here but fix is not here fix is somewhere else so you fix it like your implementation application should have been having the built on application as framework application that fix there is going to fix the issue here as well understand so when you are practicing at the time while you are practicing if you are not getting this class name in this drop down then you must have done a mistake of creating your implementation directly i mean like without any relation with parent but even if you forgot it will you be able to fix it afterwards what would you be doing you will go to implementation application definition and here you will have something else you remove that something else and click the down arrow and choose and you remove this something else here and click the down arrow and whatever you get you choose it and then you are going to save it so once you save it your changes will be reflected getting reflected okay <coughs> okay any other questions <coughs> see uh, remember one thing at the time while you are going through the theory documents and practical documents you think about only this work class level you never go with what is the parent class of organization what is the parent class of division class what is the parent class of fw all that you don't focus at all for now in future that will get clarified slowly only two levels if you focus and better understand this will help you to realize everything else in future sessions now itself if you think about all the classes there will be a lot of confusion you will even forget the basics you will not be able to understand even the fundamental things understand okay i am going to close the meeting for today any questions tomorrow at the very beginning of the session i am opening the meeting 15 minutes before itself any questions you can ask me during then i'll be sharing these documents today also on whatsapp